freshman guard from Noonan, Georgia, number 23, Janaya Sargil. And a 6'4 junior forward from Jacksonville, Florida, Joy Hagley. He's not playing 21 at number 20. We are live here from Tyne Davis Gymnasium on the campus of Faulkner University for homecoming 2019. It's the Faulkner University Lady Eagles playing the Bruton Parker squad from Georgia. The Baron, Lady Barons coming in with a record of 17 and 11. And the Lady Eagles coming in with a record of, if I can find it here, of 13 and 15 coming off the last second win here at home Thursday night. The starting lineups, first for the Bruton Parker Lady Barons, number 21, Dominique Hayes, number three, LaToya King, Number 22, Naomi Wilds. Number 33, Janaea Stargell or Stragel. And number 30, it's, it's Stargell. It's a typo. It's Stargell. Okay. And number I'm 20, firing somebody. And number 24, Joe Hadley. Hadley. Joy Hadley. Hadley. That too. There you go. We're going to get on the same page here. All right. I understand Shakiria Head, her number is listed wrong on our roster. Yes, she is number two. So Dominique Haynes is actually not number two. That so, is correct. Which means number 21 or two is Trakiria Head. All right, so we're going to figure all this out. All right, so number 23 is, in fact, Janiah Stargell. We think. And she controls the ball off the tip. Number 21 now, if it's not Trakiria Head, is actually who? It's a good question. Layup right hand good by number 22, Naomi Wilds. So it's an early 2-0 lead for the Barons of Bruton Parker. Kayla Key gets it to Michaela Fasonic. Having a lot of feedback here on my end. There's the layup right hand, no good. Morgan Sykes had a shot at it. Ball on the floor, fought for and controlled by Bruton Parker, coming the other way. There's a three off the hand of number three. That is LaToya King. So a two nothing lead right now for Bruton Parker. The Lady Eagles trying to get on the board. There's Kayla Key working around left wing. Gives it up to Michaela Fasonic. Head fake, puts the ball on the deck. Ashton Atkins, that's her range. And three two is the lead for Faulkner. All right, so we're gonna sort all of this out. Naomi Wilds is 22, Janiah Stargell is 23. Number three is LaToya King. We're still trying to identify who number 21 is if it's not Trakiria Head. That's, all right, so 21 is Dominique Haynes is what I'm being told, fair enough. That three misses off the hand of number 24, Joy Hadley. All right, so now we need an ink pen to correct this faux pas. 3-2 is still the Faulkner lead. And again, hey, when she does that, it's usually a long day for opposing defenses. And a good afternoon for the Lady Eagles. Yeah. That's two quick ones for Atkins right there. Just working under the screen. She pulls it on him, drains it. There's the drive. Nice pass back to Hadley. She loses it. Atkins leads the break. She's got Fasonic. If she needs help, she'll take it all the way herself. Eight. Two is the Eagle lead. All eight points belong to Ashlyn Adkins. Quite the start for the Lady Eagles, and in particular for Ashlyn Adkins. There's a three off the hand of Dominique Haynes. It's a long two. It's a two, all right. Carter Moles, I thought, was playing the circle game very poorly for a moment there. He was telling me it was actually a two. Michaela Fasani. Steps up, right wing, looks for help and a whistle. They're going to call offensive foul away from the ball on Angela Grant. Grant and Hadley is a matchup to watch down there. You're talking about a combined 12 and a half feet of human. And 
Grant, of course, the rebounding and scoring leader for the Lady Eagles on the year. Actually, she's now moved she's into second in right. scoring. She grabs the rebound here. Joy Hadley averaging 12.4 points and 9.7 boards a game. Their numbers, are, if you look at them, are almost identical to one another. Atkins, Sykes, jumper, won't go. The bench would have erupted. It's all the way down and back out. Sykes, two good looks at the basket and both down and back out. It's going to be, it's going to be Faulkner basketball. Is stepped out of bounds trying to save it. 6.50 to go in the first quarter. It's good to see that we're not the only ones having confusion to start here. The refs are struggling just as much as we are. Yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to get it worked out here. Nice crowd here to start. It's homecoming today. It's senior night. Great job by the Horn family in singing the national anthem before the game. That pass was to Morgan Sykes, who was trying to set a screen. So Fasonic gathers it and a foul. So they foul the travel. Oh, no, they'll call the travel before the foul. All right, Colson checks in, Sykes checks out. 8-4 is the lead for Faulkner. This is a 17-10 Bruton Parker team, 13-6 in conference. The Lady Eagles, of course, have had various iterations of their lineup due to injuries and other issues. So they enter this one at 13-15 overall, 6-13 in conference. That shot misses back iron coming the other way is Faulkner. Key, Grant, Fasonic, Atkins, and Colson. The five on the floor as Clocker comes to the scorer's table. Look at that. Just muscling it up is Angela Grant. 10-4 is the lead. David, one of the things you notice as Bruton Parker gets in and it's a block by Angela Grant on number 30, Iana Sims. Grantland, that's the area down there in the paint. She owns it. You must pay her rent. Ten to four is the lead. David, one of the things that jumps out at me, key out to Fasonic. There's that three. She misses Colson. Rebound put back. Good. 12-4. As we look at the second and third quarter scoring for Bruton Parker on the year, that's where they do the majority of their damage in the middle part of the game. It is over 500 points in each of those quarters on the season as the three is taken there by Dominic, that's Dominic Hayes. Hayes. It rattles in off back iron. It's 12-7 is the lead. And by comparison, they only score 413 points in the first quarter and 455 in the fourth. So they're really doing their work in the middle part of the game. That shot misses, rebound coming the other way. That's number 20, Jada Ivy with the ball. Gets it out, right wing. Naomi Wilds, her three no good. Kayla Key rebounds it. She'll turn and go the other way, pushing the tempo across the timeline. Got Atkins if she wants her, she'll take it and she'll take that. Draws short on the right iron, and now she gets back to try to stop ball. Got a block by Atkins, but a rebound put back by number 30, Iana Sims. Nice job to stop ball, but Iana Sims, Johnny on the spot that time. Right wing for Sonic, dumps it down, Grant. That's exactly what you want, she misses it. Gets her own rebound, put back good. Good entry pass there from the wing by Atkins. Over the top to Grant on that first attempt, she just missed it, but was able to stay with it, get that rebound. And we mentioned it Thursday night, she's playing with basically one hand. Yeah, That left hand taped quite a bit. Gets it out up top. She'll pull that three, Will Sims, no good. Grant with her fifth rebound already. Angela or Kayla Key, rather, gets it up to Ashlyn Atkins, down to Colson. She'll go to work in the post, looking for help. Out to Kayla Key. Key will reset everything with 16 to shoot. She'll attack left side, hand off Atkins. Atkins tightly defended, finds Colson. Colson to Grant. She'll go up right hand, good. Nice look by Colson to find Grant, and Grant got the defender on her hip and went to work. Again, that high-low look there for the Lady Eagles, what they've been so good at during the course of this year when they've had Grant in the lineup. They'll get that on Liv Colson, her first foul. The second team foul on Faulkner. Clocker, Jones, and Wilkinson check in. Out come Grant, Key, and Fasonic. So we'll see how the, the Lady Eagles run with the bench unit in. Looking very good for the first part of this game. Inbound comes. Trying to get a number there. That looks like Sims, and she'll go on the take and lay it up good. 
So Iana Sims gets to work there. I think that's Sims. Left wing, that is Ashlyn Atkins. Atkins finds Wilkinson. She'll dump it down to Clocker. Out to Laura Jones. She thought about it. Defender closed out. Jones puts it on the deck, finds it to the middle of the paint, and shoots an air ball. Not the look she wanted. I gave that basket to Sims earlier, but it looks like that may actually be Eden Duckworth out there. It is Eden Duckworth, number 10. That is Dominique Haynes, swings it back up to Duckworth. Now left wing to Rainey. Rainey puts it on the deck all the way in. Right hand, no good. Rebound, Valentina Clocker. Finds Liv Colson, who leads the break one on three. Now slows down, finds Laura Jones. Jones will go to work baseline, trying to find help. Hits Clocker, body check, no call, and a travel. It's a good job by Jones, though, to get that pass in to, to Clocker right there. She had an opportunity to take the jumper two different times, one at the three, one as she made a couple dribbles going baseline, but then found the cutting Clocker to the front of the rim. That is Dominique Haynes with the basketball. Works it up to Duckworth. Now left wing Rainey. Rainey, long pass, can't be corralled, and heads to the Faulkner bench. Clocker will inbound. Key and Grant are back in, along with Wilkinson, Jones, and Clocker for your five. Wilkinson out of the corner. We'll go baseline all the way, and a foul. No, they call it travel. She got into the body of Joy Hadley, but they say she traveled before the contact. That's the right call. She it dug is. her foot as she was preparing for the, the impact of that hit there. Yeah, Joy Hadley at 6'4". That makes you think a little bit as you're going down there. That ball into the corner. Thought about shooting it, did Ivy. Gets it back up, now swings it around. There's Haynes. Haynes, right corner. Pulls that three, does Rainey. No good. Rebound Kayla Key. Finds Clocker leading the break. One on one all the way. Right hand, good. 18 to 11 is the Faulkner lead. A buck 51 to go here in the first quarter. Nice play by Key, just keeping her eyes up as soon as she gets that rebound and just throws it up ahead. Nice outlet feed to Clocker. She's streaking down the floor. That ball out of the corner comes the jumper. Key catches the rebound off the air ball. Key got, has Clocker. A little too high as she sends it to Dalton Gross. He's a cheerleader, not a basketball player, so that doesn't help. 18 to 11, a buck 33 to go in the opening quarter. Atkins and Fasonic check in. Wilkinson and Jones check out. David, what do you make of the quick substitutions Reed Sutton is using here early? He's kind of been doing a little of that all year, year long, but he's giving this Bruton Parker team some different looks and some different things. And, and let's face it, a lot of these, these ladies have gotten a lot of time this year due to, as you mentioned, it, injuries and other things as Joy Had Hadley right there hits yeah, the three. Yeah, when a 6'4 center steps up and drains a three like that, all right, it's a two. They say her foot was on the line again. Then a turnover here. They'll call a foul off the ball on Angela Grant. That's two on her off the ball as she was trying to establish position down there. And you can tell early how Grant's going to be officiated, which usually is not a good, not good news for Faulkner. It's not. And it's unfortunately one of those things just – it's part of it with her. She usually gets officiated a little differently as Hadley pulls another one, rims out. Tipped alive and a foul. That'll be the first foul of the day on Bruton Parker. It's on number 33, Alexia Galloway, a 5'9 freshman forward from Warner Robins, Georgia. Colson gets it into Key. Key coming across the timeline. She gets it over to Ashlyn Adkins. Adkins pulls up that three off the bounce, no good. Rebound controlled by Bruton Parker. That is Duckworth that got that into the front court. She goes right wing Haynes. Haynes dumps it down. Hadley's shot, no good. Rebound Ashlyn Adkins. 18-13 is the Faulkner lead. 35 to play in the first quarter, 24 to shoot. Fasonic, head fake, long pass, Kayla Key. Key, triple threat, looks for help, finds Colson. Colson going to work, hits Clocker. Clocker attacks all the way, blocked by Hadley. Clocker hits the deck. Colson goes to the floor for the loose ball. 17 to play in the quarter. Haynes feeds Rainey, it looks like. No, not Rainey, but Galloway on the attack, and there's a foul on Faulkner. 
on Michaela, Michaela Fasonic. It's going to be her first. Fourth team foul for the Lady Eagles. 13.3 remaining in the first. One foul to this point on Bruton Parker. Four on the Lady Eagles. That's free throw in by Galloway. Cuts it to 18-14. Second free throw. Galloway averaging about four and a half points on the year, about 66% from the free throw line as the second is missed off the rim. Kayla Key across the timeline, nine to play in the quarter. Faulkner up four with a chance to stretch it before we go to the break. She looks for help. She's got to get a shot off. One second, no clue what, how much time's on the clock. And she'll dribble the clock out as we end the quarter. 18-14, Faulkner leads. Bruton Parker made a run at the end of that period. The Eagles will carry a lead into the second. You're watching the Faulkner Sports Network presentation of Lady Eagle Basketball. Maybe you need to update your life insurance. Perhaps you're thinking about retirement. It could be an accident or a cancer policy that you're seeking. Whatever your insurance needs, make sure that you're covered at a rate that makes sense for you and your family. That's where Ronnie Park and Benefit Planners can help. Call Ronnie or Brian at 334-495-7476. Call Benefit Planners and make sure that your family is covered. Odds are you've never seen service like what you'll see when you go into Don Duncan's All-American Auto and Tire. They rotate your tires and vacuum out your vehicle just because you came in for an oil change. And if you call Nathan at the downtown Montgomery location at 334-263-3872, he'll pick up your car and bring it back to you when the job is done. They've got three locations to serve you, and they'll give you 10% off with your partner ID. Don Duncan's All-American Auto and Tire, downtown Montgomery, the corner of Bell and Vaughn, and Millbrook. 18-14 is the Lady Eagle lead to start this second quarter. Kayla Key with it up near the eagle head, resetting everything, 21 to shoot. She'll attack left side, hand off Ashlyn Atkins, goes baseline, passes it out to Key, dumps it down to Colson, swings it out right wing to Fasonic. She'll pull that three, no good. Bruton Parker's good at challenging every shot, David. They are looking at the numbers on Bruton Parker before the game. They're one of the top shot blocking teams in the nation as we got a jump ball here. It will stay with Bruton Parker. Taylor Jones poked it out from behind. Joy Hadley and Michaela Fasonic ended up in a scrap on the floor for the ball. Taylor Jones in for the first time for Faulkner. That ball thrown in. Jones got a hand on it, so she knocks it free, and Fasonic controls the steal. Gets it up to Kayla Key. Key to Adkins. Had Taylor Jones flash wide open in the post for a minute. Got it to her a little too late, but she still banks it in on the turnaround. Nice hook over that left shoulder from Jones. Across the timeline. Marks it over left side. That's Duckworth, and now it's found its way to, to Dalen Young. Ball still rotating over it now right side. Now back up top. Young gets it to Duckworth. Down into the corner. That's Haynes. Haynes, it's deflected, but a walk called. I saved your iPad. You're welcome. Nice, nicely done. Yeah, nicely doing what done. I can. That's the tip pass from the play-by-play -play -play guy back out to the referee. I was too busy looking at first quarter numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's coming, man. It's the first time all year that's happened to It me. is. Kayla Key working right side, gets it over to Michaela Fasonic. Fasonic to Colson which means later we're going to have one right at the head. That's exactly right. <laughs> no, like not even deflected. Just an errant pass. Kayla Key, Ashlyn Adkins looks it down to Taylor Jones. She goes to work. It's knocked free. 20 to 14 is the Faulkner lead. 8.20 to go in the quarter. A long pass down low. And there's an offensive charge. charge going to be on Iana Sims. Good job by Taylor Jones there to stand her. Her lane and just plant her feet, take yeah. that charge. Very Tom Petty of her. Yeah. She won't back down. Won't back down. Gets the ball into Kayla Key. Exciting time here at Faulkner today. It's homecoming. A lot of old familiar faces on hand. Kayla Key hands it off to Ashlyn Atkins. Atkins works around the face of the goal, draws a screen. Good catch. Oh, it's a Fasonic. That's beautiful. 
worked over the top of two screens to hit Fasonic on the cut, David. Just a great play, a little action there. Fasonic going right back door, as you said, off those screens, and Atkins just puts it right on the money. Rebound tipped alive, and Atkins comes away with it. She's got the break. They don't have numbers, though. She'll go all the way, force it up and in, and she's got 10 already. Could have gotten a call that time, too. Little Euro step there from Atkins as she gets into the lane, takes that one-on-one -on -one there and put, puts it up. That one rebounded by Kayla Key coming the other way. That's her fifth rebound here already early in the second quarter. Yeah, Faulkner already with 17 rebounds as a team against only eight for Bruton Parker to this point. There's the attack from Fasonic. Defender hits the deck, so she'll take the wide open mid-range. Why not? It's the largest lead of the day at 12. Bruton Parker's seen enough. Steve Edwards takes a timeout. We'll take it with him. This is the Faulkner Sports Network. For Parkway and East Chase, Candlewood Suites is one of the premier lodging destinations in Montgomery. All rooms are big enough for the whole family and they offer a super rate for Faulkner folks. Next time you're in town to see the Eagles play in person, book your stay at Candlewood Suites of East Chase Park. Call 334-277-0677 and have a super night's sleep. Wherever you are in your financial needs, Guardian Credit Union can probably help. From auto to home to signature loans, Guardian has the best rates you'll find anywhere. They even do credit cards with no annual fees. Join today and get your Eagle credit or debit card. With locations all over Montgomery, Guardian Credit Union is here to serve. So they hit Ashton Atkins with a quick foul out of the timeout there. Nice job. He's sick. Did they hit that? They hit 24 on that one, Ashton hit. Atkins. They did. That ball thrown in, stolen by Dominique Haynes. Or no, caught by Dominique Haynes, rather. All the way down, feeds Sims. Sims the layup, good. So 26 16 is the lead. Kayla Key across the timeline, long pass. Valentina Clocker, her layup won't go. There's the attack. And they will, there will be a turnover down there. They're trying to sort out if this foul was on Atkins or Fasonic. The official signaled 24. They did, and if it sticks with her, it's just her first. So it's not a real issue at this point of the game. Yeah, 24 and 34 were both in the area. They signaled the foul on 24, trying to confer and make sure they've got this right. It's on 24, right. Ashton Atkins. The good news there is it would have been the second for right. Masonic. Yeah, but, but one fouled and the other one didn't. They were both there, but that wasn't who fouled. Reed Sutton says, look, you're, you're right at who was there. You're not right at who committed the foul. <laughs> Ashton Atkins across the timeline, gets it to Michaela Fasonic, down to clock and, and one. one. That, look, there's been contact under the hoop already, a lot already today. That's the it first has. time we've seen it called. That's Either a, way. That's a good strong move there by, by Clocker. The foul is going to be on Dominique Haynes. It's her first. 28-16. We've got to get our scoreboard caught up here. 28-16, now 29-16. We're going to check with the book and make sure the scoreboard is right as well. There's the attack over left side. And a foul. It's going to be on Liv Colson, it looks like. Should be. All right. So 29-16 is the lead after Ref. Valentina Clocker hit that free throw. Ref is going to make sure this time there's no question as to who the foul is on. That's right. And you get the foul call on Liv Colson. And the free throw is trying to tell who the shooter is there. I can't make out the number because her hair so long. Can we go with Janiah Stargell? Is that right? Stargell's the shooter. All right. Her hair is glorious. I can't see her number, but her hair Not is at glorious. All. <laughs> there it is, 23. Missed she that one. And a rebound put back by Sims. Good, strong rebound by Sims. Just took it out of the arms of two Faulkner players and goes right back up with it. So that cuts the deficit down to 10, and Faulkner throws it away. So it's going to be Bruton Parker basketball. 
Turnovers have been a bugaboo for the Lady Eagles at times. And if, if that becomes a problem here, Bruton Parker is very, very capable of making you pay. That's eight already for the Lady Eagles here about midway through the second quarter. Stargell attacks right into the body of Clocker and then throws the ball out of bounds. The inbound will come from LaToya Young, or LaToya King, rather. She'll get it into Sims. Sims back up to Stargell. Swings it over to Duckworth. Duckworth throws it down low to Haynes. She'll go to work and find Sims. Layup and one. Sims is killing Faulkner right, right now. She'll go to the line. Eight points for her already with the opportunity for number nine here. Yeah, that's cut it to eight, and she's got a chance to cut it to seven, and that's a, it's a personal run by Sims. Misses that one. Rebound for Sonny. Gets it up to Key. Key, long pass, Atkins, wide open three, hesitated. Throws it down low to Taylor Jones, and she'll lay it up right in. Good look by Atkins. Good look. Atkins got the attention of three Bruton Parker defenders, just throws it right over the top to Jones, who's wide open at the basket. Stargell has a screen from Sims. If she wants it, she'll pull the three. No good. Rebound tipped alive, controlled by Sims. Right wing Duckworth throws it down to Sims. She'll turn around right hand, no good. Rebound by Kayla Key. Key passes up to Fasonic. She's got to chase down the loose ball. Hits Key, pulls that three, no, back iron. Taylor Jones the rebound and a foul. So Jones gets the rebound and draws the foul. It's on Sims. That's two on her. Clocker checks in, Deonnie Thompson out, Laura Jones in, Ashlyn Atkins out. 31-21, Lady Eagles holding this lead right now. Key throws it in to Jones. Jones going to work, throws it down to Taylor Jones. And she's blocked by Hadley, so it'll stay with Faulkner. 23 to shoot, 4.57 to play in the half. Frenetic pace in the first quarter. We've really kind of settled into a half-court game here, David. We have. The pace has kind of normalized a little bit here in the second quarter, so teams feeling each other out in the half-court, just not trying to get, get out on the break so much here that we've seen in the first part of this second quarter. Wilds checks in, Haynes checks out, Clocker gets the rebound off the miss, feeds Key. Key, Fasonic, 12 to shoot, gets it out to Clocker, 10 to shoot, finds Taylor Jones, she'll go to work and into the body and they call a travel. Again, contact and they call a travel before the contact. Reed Sutton, irritated. I see the irritation on that one. You could have called the push that caused the travel before you got the contact going up for the shot. So, understandably irritated Reed Sutton after that call. Right wing, Stargell, long pass, corralled by Young, or no, not Young, but King. Now back to King from Duckworth. King, Stargell, head fake, one to shoot. Shot clock violation. So nice job by the Lady Eagle defense that time to force the shot clock violation. It was strong defense there on that end. Way to stay in front of your man and not let him get that get by you and get that half step. As she tried there getting to the basket. Clocker will throw it in to Laura Jones. Back to Clocker. Clocker back to Laura Jones. Up court, Ashlyn Atkins. Atkins, Laura Jones, throws it down low, Taylor Jones. She turns around, blocked again. Joy Hadley just all over the place, taking people's joy. Rebound, controlled by somebody, but a whistle, and we're gonna get a jump ball. So Duckworth tried to pull down the rebound, but a jump ball, possession arrow Faulkner. You mentioned the block by Hadley coming into this game. She had 108 of those on the season. By far their leader. 
Jones throws it up court to Adkins. She'll go to work. She'll take that three. Why not? Won't go. Rebound ripped down by number 22, Naomi Wilds. She'll lead the break herself. Gets into the body of Laura Jones. They call Jones on a block, but Laura Jones had purchased that real estate and paid property taxes on it by the time Wilds got there. You're absolutely right. She was long in position for that, unless she was in the the restricted area, which we couldn't tell from here. It didn't look like she was. It looked it like she was just inside the block. But the foul differential now is starting to add up. That's eight fouls on Faulkner and four on Bruton Parker. And when you're looking at free throw attempts, this is now the, what, the sixth and seventh attempts for Bruton Parker? Yes, six and seven. Sonic left wing, Laura Jones will pull that three. Front iron, no good, it looked good from here. And now Bruton Parker the other way, down 10. Rainey, pull up mid range from the free throw line, no good. Atkins with a rebound, she's already got four of those, three of those. She'll get it to Taylor Jones, she attacks. Joy Hadley, another, another block. block. Two centers that can get it done defensively in, in different ways. Hadley, the long athletic player, whereas Grant is the more. Well, and you're, you're right, David, but the difference right now is Angela Grant got the hit foul trouble. Two, yeah, two cheap fouls away from the ball on offense, and Joy Hadley's running wild in the middle. She is. For Bruton Parker, and that's a big difference right now. It is. She can. She can leave the post a little bit and, and go attack some of these shooters out on the wing as we've got a bucket there for Faulkner. 33-21 after the clocker layup. Clocker really good look that time with the right hand. Haynes with it, works it over to King. Down low, Rainey. Rainey hits Hadley. Hadley defended by Clocker, misses the shot. Rebound controlled by Colson. She'll back it out, wait for help. Gets a screen from Clocker and hits Laura Jones who finds Colson. Now kicks it out to Adkins. She'll work around a screen from Colson into Hadley. You gotta call that. It's a good job by Colson recognizing that that coming back up, giving Atkins a screen, letting her go baseline around her and right into the body of Hadley there and picking up the foul. Atkins first free throw, no good. Normally very good there. It's the first foul on Hadley, and you're right, Atkins about 76% on the season. 33-21 is the Faulkner lead. Second shot coming from Adkins. And she'll hit that one. 34-21 is the lead. Rainey will bring it up the court. She'll get it into the hands of Haynes. Left wing, there is the attack from Ivy. Now all the way in, right hand, no good, off the hand of Sims. And a steal and an easy layup missed. Key slaps it out. She gets her own rebound. Look, and uh, the ball loose again. It'll go out off Bruton Parker if they get it right. The official on the far side called it Faulkner basketball, so yeah. that's what we're going with. It was, was that Rainey causing all sorts of havoc down there. Stealing it, laying it up, getting her own rebound. Almost got another one. That ball into Fasonic, back to Colson. This press, very interesting in that corner. A lot of contact in the open court. Key drives all the way, layup, right hand good. A lot of contact lot on of that contact. press. Nice show by Key there to get the reaction going for the ball, going underneath the arms and then laying it up on the other side. They'll throw that one away, Faulkner basketball. 36-21, 1-21 to play in the opening half. Colson will inbound it momentarily. Bruden Parker jumps right back into this, this press here. There's your trap if you want it. Gets it to Key, she'll throw it up to Atkins. It's stolen, Atkins wasn't ready for it. Finds Sims coming the other way. Right wing, head fake, Rainey. Swatted at by Key, she misses the shot. Colson rebound, again a lot of contact. And she steps out of bounds. 
This is a an aggressive press, and the foul the foul differential not reflecting that right now. No, and, and the turnover is piling up for Faulkner. That's now 12 in the ball game. Throws it down to Sims, and she gets that to go. 36-22, right back into the press. Key, long pass, middle of the floor, stolen. Pull up, Ivy, no good. Rebound, Key. Faulkner trying to get the ball into the, area, in the other end of the floor. Fasonic working around Haynes. Will go all the way in to Colson. Colson to Key. Swings it left side and tipped out of bounds. Key had the right idea, though, making that extra pass to Atkins, who was going to end up wide open in the corner. Just knocked out and saved by there for that Bruton Parker de defense. Kayla Key. She works around. Goes left side, misses the layup, rebound by Sims. Again, continuing to do good work down there. She's got 10 and four. 22 in the half, shot clock is off. Bruton Parker appears content to hold for last. 36-23 is the Faulkner lead. Bruton Parker has scored nine points this quarter to this juncture. Rainey out, three pointer, no. Rebound, key, fought for. She'll control it before the half. 36-23 is the Faulkner lead. A great second quarter for the Lady Eagles that opens a four-point lead up to a nine-point lead. This is the Faulkner Sports Network. The Faulkner family is so proud to again partner with Wells Printing. They can meet virtually every print need from commercial and wide format printing to promotional products and apparel. They even do full service mailing and distribution. For all of your promotional and print needs, make the right call and stand out with Wells. Call Amanda at 334-270-9481 or 334-324-0864.
called a GED. Get her in here. Hey, why don't you drop out and uh, just. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, so Joel Harrison, as we ready to tip off this second half. Joel, um, it's really hard to ask for a much better half offensively out of your girls, what they were able to do against. And the turnovers started to pile up later in the half. That's an incredibly aggressive press. What's been working for you guys? Uh, we just really did a good job of being aggressive in this game. And I think some something that's kind of held us back in the last few games is really like we just hold ourselves back. We've been attacking their pressure and really getting good good things happening in, in transition. And then when we, we've even gotten good shots in the half court. So offensively, our ball movement is very good. We've been getting it out and running, and uh, we've been doing a good job of getting the ball around. All right, so what would you tell them at halftime? Keep this energy. I mean, because, I mean, they're fighting for third seed right now, so they're going to come out with some energy, and we got to match that. So we got to be ready for whatever they throw at us. Fantastic. Joel Harrison, the assistant women's coach, will let him go get in the huddle as they get ready to start this second half. David Turner, we bring you in here. Joel talked about energy for the Lady Eagles here. That's crucial. We noted this is the most productive quarter of the season for Bruton Parker statistically. What they've been able to do in the third quarter on the year is win ball games because they've scored, or it's the second most productive quarter, they've scored 506 points right. in the third quarter on the season. So they, you know they're gonna come out and hit you hard. Now, comparatively, this is also the most productive quarter for the Lady Eagles. They've scored 484 points in the third quarter this year, far and away their largest total. You're right, and, and the biggest thing for me in this game is, is what Joel touched on is the energy that these, these Lady Eagles have come out with today, and it's one of those things that we haven't seen from them in a while. Uh, getting everybody back and somewhat healthy, uh, I would be assured is a part of that. Having everybody in the lineup and, and the crowd is good here tonight or this afternoon here for senior day and homecoming, but they've played extremely well. First half of basketball out rebounding Bruton Parker 30 to 16. So yeah, just about huge. doubling them up has been huge for this Faulkner team as we're underway here. The attack, it goes up top. Duckworth swings it over left side. Hadley, Hadley pulls that three good. That's a weapon when a 6'4 player can do that for you. Now, David, Touch on one thing for me, if you will. Joel talked about the idea of attacking a press defense. How much difference does it make when you play a press on your toes instead of back on your heels? You've got to attack a press. You can't just go into it looking to find, kind of finesse your way out of it. Your big, if they're in a zone press, your best way to attack it is try to get to the middle of the floor, stay away from the sidelines because they're going to use that as that extra defender. Get it to the middle of the floor and push your way back up and make them where they can't set their defense up on the other end. That ball out left wing off that rebound, misses that shot, and a rebound by looks like number 22, I think. Uh, it is it number is. 22, Wilds with that rebound. And Bruton Parker already closing some of that rebounding margin here. But that's a good job right there by Angela Grant. She just stood her ground at the post, put her arms straight up in the air to, to avoid that foul call right there. And the refs graciously obliged by not giving her one. Hadley sets the screen. There's an, a behind the back over the shoulder pass. Now it finds its way to Hadley. Misses the three. Wilds rebound put back good. So a quick run right out of the shoot here. The first five points go to Bruton Parker, and they've cut it to eight. And they're not, not even using that press yet. Colson going to work. Right hand nice. goes. Liv Colson with a good shot there. Colson has the shooter in her. Oh, my. Wilds didn't even give Colson time to think about it. She just dropped it. And a foul on number 21, Dominique Haynes. That is her first, her second rather. That'll back that press off a little bit. And now here comes Haynes again. They'll get it into Fasonic. Fasonic over to Kayla Key. Kayla Key off a of screen, tipped alive, stolen by Wilds. This press giving Faulkner all kind of problems and a cheap foul on Key and one. The foul differential. 9-6 now, 9 on Faulkner, 6 on Bruton Parker. 
But what matters mo most at the moment is that's already 10 points in the quarter for Bruton Parker, and they're going to line for more. And Reed Sutton says, no, no, ladies, let's talk about this. You're watching Faulkner Lady Eagle Basketball on the Faulkner Sports Network. I don't know if there's anything I like better than good barbecue. Full Moon has the best barbecue and best smoked wings in town, and those onion rings are out of this world. Go buy after the game and use your ticket for a buy one, get one free barbecue sandwich. Say hi to Chris in person at 7660 East Chase Parkway, or give him a call at 334-676-5999. Unbelievable. 38-33 is the lead as for Faulkner, but Wilds to the line, misses that free throw, rebound for Sane. Faulkner now looking to get off the deck here in the third quarter, 7.57 to go in the frame. Fasane works around, hitting the back, no call. Dumps it down to Grant, one hand, and she'll lay it in. Boy, David, how do you go no call there when Fasonic's hit right in the back and knocked down? That's a tough no call, but good composure there by the Lady Eagles. Key right over the top to Grant in the post who had her man, her player sealed on her hip. She just goes right back at it to cut this run to Tim four. Hadley three, no, rebound. And a foul again on Faulkner, on Liv Colson. Jockeying for position, trying to box out. That one really could have gone either way, Colson or Wilds for Bruton Parker. They were both fighting for that rebound. Now 10 team fouls on Faulkner overall. The inbound. And kicks it out in a travel call. So a turnover against Bruton Parker. That only the eighth turnover for the Barons. Clocker trying to get it in, gets it to Key. Key defended tightly, throws it to Atkins. She's hitting the back. I don't know how you can reach through a player over the back and get no call. Michaela Fasonic gets it into Kayla Key. Kayla Key will have a whistle here. They're going to call a stoppage of some kind. They're going to call a turnover, but I don't see what. Had to have been three in the key or something. I don't know what that call was. Ten-second call. Hadley. Gets it up, there's the attack. She runs into Clocker and a foul. Who are they gonna pit this one on? They're gonna, gonna give it clocker. to Clocker. That's her first. That's 11 fouls on Faulkner, only six on Bruton Parker. Haynes gets it up, there's the shot. Good from Duckworth. That cuts it to four. Fasane attacks across the timeline. She's got a screen coming if she wants it. She'll take it. Fasane all the way in, blocked. Could have gotten Hadley coming across the body there. Yeah, well, just, that's happened a lot today, and it's it's not been called. So I've got I've given up on looking for it to happen. Right. Clocker all the way in, up. She was fouled, no call. Grant rebound out to Wilkinson, over to Clocker, back up top to Atkins. She'll pull that three, no. Rebound Grant, she'll go to work. She hits Megan Wilkinson, comes around a screen, hits Atkins, Atkins on the attack, pulls up, hits Grant. Right hand powers it up, good. Good ball movement from Faulkner. Good ball movement. Lead. Bruton Parker switched to a zone there, that two three look coming back out of that, that press and they were able to attack the middle of the floor there where the Lady Eagles and get that bucket. That ball up top. King, jumper no good. 
Rebound by Clocker. Clocker to Wilkinson. Wilkinson across the timeline. She'll push the tempo. Back out, looking for help. Hits Grant. That was a foul, no call. And Grant hits the layup. Grant just got hit in the hand and the face, no call. That's 10 now for Grant to go with five rebounds, or 12 and 12 seven. 12 and rather. seven. It's my live stats just updated. Yeah, you you're <laughs> off. That shot, no good. Rebound by Fasonic. Angela Grant lo lost the glasses after getting hit in the head on the last trip. Was there a foul call, you ask? No. There's one. It's a good job by Grant right there. She's Taking still a, favoring the eye. She, she can't is. see. She took a little time there, though, and let the play develop. Then she broke to the basket, and Clocker did a nice job just hitting, hitting her with the pass there. She was right at the rim. Delay of game warning on Bruton Parker. They call it on LaToya King. Angela Grant trying to get the goggles back on after being hit in the eye earlier. She steps to the line. That free throw, no good. The Sonic out key in. Clocker, Key, Grant, Wilkinson, Atkins, the five for Faulkner. Grant 70%. From the line on the season. And that free throw no good. Rebound ripped down by Duckworth. So Faulkner gets nothing out of that trip. Eight point lead. Works its way around left wing. That is Wilds. Wilds back up to Duckworth. Goes on the attack. Hit by Clocker who got away with one that time. Got the rebound coming the other way. Kayla Key hits Clocker all the way in, layup no, rebound by Sims. Stolen by Clocker. Grant with it now, hits Adkins, head fake. Oh, into the body, no call. Wilds blew through Adkins. Grant catches that one, goes to work, left there hand good. Good 46 36 is the lead. That's good composure there, though, not to get too upset about that as the three goes down by Duckworth. Duckworth hits the three. It's a seven point Faulkner lead. 406 to play in third. This is the Faulkner Sports Network. Whether you're making the trip to see the Eagles play in person, coming into town to visit your favorite Faulkner student, or having the family in from out of town, Drury Inn & Suites is Faulkner's number one place to stay in Montgomery. Drury offers a full free breakfast and dinner with your stay and caters to your needs with a friendly and knowledgeable staff. They're pet friendly and offer a great Faulkner rate. They even got indoor and outdoor pool options. Call them at 334-273-1101 to book your stay today. Forty-six thirty-nine is the lead. Four oh six to play in the third. Clocker gets it into key. Key. Across the timeline. Gets it over to Wilkinson. Wilkinson and a foul on somebody. Should be on Wild. It's nope. on Sims. On Sims. That's three on Sims. Three fifty-four to go in the quarter. Clocker catches the inbound from Taylor Jones. Wilkinson, Clocker down to Jones. Jones going to work. She'll fight that one up. It won't go. Rebound by Haynes. Haynes coming the other way. She gets it out right wing. That's a quick three off the hand of King. It won't go. Wilds with it. She attacks right hand good. Strong attack there to the bucket by Wilds. Kayla Key. Right hand to Will, uh, right side Wilkinson. Wilkinson looking for help. Dumps it down, stolen by Duckworth, who loses it. Clocker gets it all the way in, fights it up, it won't go. 
Faulkner struggling to get good looks at the basket right now. The lead's all the way down to five. Wilds pulls that three, no good. Clocker chases down a rebound, and she's hitting the back. Eleven eight is the foul differential right now. 46-41 is the Faulkner lead. Grant and Colson check back in for Jones and Clocker. Grant in the middle of the floor gets it to Colson. Colson hands it off to Adkins. Adkins over to Wilkinson. Wilkinson. Key dumps it down to Colson. Colson goes to work, right hand, no, but a foul. That's going to be on Duckworth if, if I'm correct. That'll be her first. It's on Duckworth. Duckworth had a productive day off the Baron bench. Seven points, five rebounds for her. Yes, yeah, she has been very good. Duckworth, a 5'6 junior guard from Heidelberg, Mississippi. Colson's free throw up and good. Colson, one of the six freshmen on this roster. She's from Thompson Station, Tennessee. Second free throw from Colson. Six point lead, make it, nope, leave it six. Haynes grabs the rebound off the near miss. Haynes, middle of the floor, right into Colson, and a foul call gonna be on Colson. That'll be four on her if I'm if it's on her. That's four on Liv Colson. We'll send Dominique Haynes to the free throw line for the Barons. Kayla Key handling mop-up duties now. Her own methodology, a little different than Milan Skundrich's. It's effective, though. It is effective. First free throw up and good by Haynes. Haynes right around the 60% mark on the season. Clocker in, Colson out. That goes along with her 10 and a half points per game. Second free throw, good. They've cut it back down to four. Go, go. In ball, inbound to Fasonic, up to Atkins, they throw it away. Faulkner just looking out of sorts right now, this press, the physical nature of this Bruton Parker team, I think it's taking its toll. It has, especially this quarter. That's now 16 turnovers for the Lady Eagles. Been outscored this quarter 18 to 11 thus far. Ivy gets the ball into Wilds. Now gets it back. Ivy calling the set. Works around a screen. Throws it down low. She gets it out. A travel call on Sims. Clocker will throw it in. Gets it to Key. Key to Fasonic, Fasonic to Key. No urgency right now for the Lady Eagles. There it goes, across the timeline. <laughs> Adkins going to work. Hits Grant, 10 to shoot. To Key, Key calls the set, seven to shoot. She's looking for help. They gotta get the shot off. She just throws it up. Not a good look for Faulkner. Not a good trip down the floor, not the, the ball movement that we've seen from them in this ball game. Clocker closing on that shot, forced her to change it, and she airballs it. Bruton Parker gets the rebound. There's Sims. Grant with the block from behind. From behind. So Angela Grant, a little block from behind, that helps. 47-43 is still the lead. Reed Sutton calling for a timeout, and he'll get it. Forty-seven, forty-three, about 26 to play in the third. It's the Faulkner Sports Network. Everyone knows Jason's Deli has the best salad bar in Montgomery. 
Everyone also knows Jason's Deli has the best sandwiches in town. And, of course, everyone knows Jason's Deli has the best ice cream anywhere. But did you know that Jason's Deli's manager is also named Jason? Give him a call at 334-409-9898, or better yet, just go by and see him at 1520 Eastern Boulevard in Montgomery. Pizza for $5? Pizza for $5. Hot and ready pizza for $5. That's Little Caesars guarantee. Hot and ready pizzas every single day for $5. They deliver to campus right here at Falcon University. Order one or get enough for everybody. Call 334-272-4595 or stop by their location at 5853 Atlanta Highway in East Dale Square. Fight for the ball. Clocker has it. She's in a wrestling match and a foul call looks like it's on Sims. That was That's four on her. That was an opportunity there to call at least four or five fouls yeah. on that short little exchange. As my two-year-old would say, tap out, tap out. It's wrestling time. Clocker will go to the line. That's four fouls now on Sims. It's now five in the quarter for Bruton Parker. So Clocker goes to the free throw line. That'll bring Joy Hadley back into the game. Forty-seven, forty-three is the lead. One seventeen to play in the third. All right, so they've sorted out where the possession arrow belongs. That was the nature of the conversation here. Valentina Clocker, first free throw, no. Faulkner up by four. They led by a lot more than that. They led by 13 at half. Only 11 points in the quarter. Largest lead was 15. That free throw good, 48-43. And here comes Bruton Parker. Jada Ivy across the timeline. Gets it over to Wilds. Wilds into the corner to Hadley. Hadley back up to Duckworth. She'll throw it down low to Haynes. Haynes goes to work and a foul. Probably me for Sonic on the reach in there. See who they're going to hit with it. Key was in the area as well. It is on Michaela Fasonic. That's her second. Two on her, and Haynes goes to the line. So Faulkner had a stop and then didn't. Haynes hits the first one. She's very good there on the season, I believe, David. She's right at about 60%. She's been good there today. And that one good. 48-45 is the... Faulkner lead, and here comes Bruton Parker back into that press. Key across the timeline. All the way down baseline, kicks it out. Fasonic three, no. Rebound, Clocker. Put back, fouled. Valentina Clocker with a great rebound, and goes right at, at the basket and gets the foul on Joy Hadley. That's three on her. That was smart play by Clocker, getting that rebound. Realizing they haven't set up, didn't really know who had the basketball. She took that one power dribble and goes right back up with it. Clocker's first free throw good. 48-45 the lead. Or 49-45 rather. Clocker's next free throw, no good. Rebound Wilds. And we'll get a whistle. See what the nature of this conversation is. We've really drugged down to a snail's pace here in the third quarter. We really have, and it's been the last three or four minutes of the quarter. Wilds will inbound the ball. That much I can tell you. In front of a student section that's looking at its phone and no idea that she's standing there.
That is accurate as well. I'm telling you. That ball thrown in to Jada Ivy. There's the attack. Hadley, three, no. Rebound, Kayla Key tries to run it down, can't get there. That is Haynes. She'll put it back on the deck. Shot clock is off, 21 to play in the quarter. She gets it over left wing, that's Stargell. In and out twice, and finally a rebound by Hadley. Her putback won't go, Angela Grant rebound. She's trying to get it out of there. She'll get it to Key. Five to play in the quarter. Key's gonna have to throw up a desperation one. No, she passes out, and they don't get a shot off. That's two straight quarters. Faulkner's had the ball at the end of the quarter and can't get a shot off. As is, 49-45, Faulkner leads at the end of three. This is the Faulkner Sports Network. Nobody does service like Don Duncan's All-American Auto and Tire. That's not just hyperbole. With every oil change, they'll rotate your tires and vacuum out your car. That, Faulkner fans, is service. Show your Faulkner ID and get 10% off your purchase. Don Duncan's All-American Auto and Tire. Downtown Montgomery, at the corner of Bell and Vaughn, and in Millbrook. Ready to begin the fourth quarter here as Megan Wilkinson inbounds to Kayla Key. She makes her way past half court, kicks it over to Ashlyn Atkins. She goes elbow to Taylor Jones into Grant, misses the layup. Yeah, she was, she was fouled hard <laughs> right across the arm, but that doesn't matter today. 49-45. Haynes kicks it out, three, yes. Atkins is, Atkins is, hits the deck hard, and they do call that one. That foul on Duckworth. It's her third. Or second, rather. Colson checks in. Grant to Adkins, three, no. Grant will chase down that long rebound and throw it in. But, Bruton Parker controls it. One point Faulkner lead, Wilds all the way in, runs right into Grant, who stops that shot. Goes right into the body of Grant again, Joy Hadley, and that's a foul. They'll get Grant on that one. That's her third foul. Grant got stuck down there trying to defend everybody. She did. She did a great job there on two separate occasions on field goal attempts, putting her arms straight up, making the offensive player change her shot. Joy Hadley's first free throw, no good. Gets hit there on that, that last attempt where they couldn't get the defensive rebound. Next free throw from Joy Hadley. Good, tie game. Faulkner had a 15 point lead, it has now disappeared. 9.07 to play in the, the game. Wilkinson out, Fasonic in. She'll get it to Adkins. Back to Colson, over to Fasonic. She'll push the tempo. Fasonic to Colson, back to Key. Key to Grant, over to Adkins, head fake, drive, left hand good. There's the drive, 
feeds the post. Haynes working down there, gets it up. No good, Colson rebound. That's her fifth. Kayla Key across the timeline. She'll attack. Looking for Grant. Hadley reaches over Grant, tips it away. There's a long pass to Hadley. Key trying to change the shot. She does. Ball slapped out. Fight on the floor. And there, a timeout by Bruton Parker. We'll take it with them. This is the Faulkner Sports Network. For the best in starters, salad, steaks, ribs, country dinners, and more, saddle up after the game and head on over to Texas Roadhouse, located at 7525 East Chase Parkway in Montgomery. You can even take your Faulkner game ticket, and Faulkner alumnus Trey, too, will gladly give you 10% off your bill. Call him for your catering needs at 334-396-7774 or go by and throw back a few peanuts while you wait on your meal. Texas Roadhouse, located in East Chase across from Target. Fifty-one, forty-nine, eight, twelve to play. Hadley catches the inbound, stolen by Ashlyn Atkins. She'll push the tempo the other way. Layup, no good. I couldn't tell who shot it. Colson shot it. Liv Colson shot it, missed it. Got a jump ball on the floor. Bruton Parker possession. Two on one break. Faulkner can't cash it in. Jada Ivy across the timeline. She'll go left side, now down into the corner. Feeds the post, kicks it back up top, and a travel. Jada Ivy didn't like the call. 51 49, 742 to play. Into Fasonic. Fasonic across the timeline looking for help. She'll get in the form of Clocker. Now dumps it down to Grant. Grant up, right hand won't go. Tries to tip it out. Fasonic forces her to pick up her dribble that time. They'll get it back out. Ivy will reset. 18 to shoot. Into the corner to Hadley. Hadley back up to Ivy, swings it over to Sims. Now right side, Wilds. Wilds will pull that three, no good. Rebound put back by Ivy. Tie game, seven minutes to play. Clocker into Fasonic. Fasonic looking for help. Got to get rid of it. And a timeout by Reed Sutton to help his team out. 6.51 to play. Tie game, Faulkner Sports Network. Wells Printing is so much more than just a print shop. Not only did they print up our Faulkner football game tickets, but they also carry Faulkner polos and Comfort Colors t-shirts, as well as those awesome baseball caps and stadium seats. For any and all printing and promotional item needs, call Amanda at 334-270-9481 or 334-324-0864. Okay, so it's a given that they've got the catchiest jingle of all time. But Cooks has used reliable, affordable, expert service to become number one in the pest control business. Nobody wants the uninvited guests at their game day parties. Call Cooks Pest Control to handle the problem outside before it moves its way inside. Call Mike at 334-273-8873 and get a free quote today. So Ashton Adkins takes it to the rack, lays it up. Faulkner back on top, 53-51, 6.35 to play. Hadley works it around to Duckworth. Duckworth gets it to Ivy and a walk on Ivy. 6.26 to play, 53-51, Lady Eagles. Clocker will inbound. It has been a constant press from Bruton Parker since the second quarter of this game. 
I believe, David, they've been in the press every opportunity. As often as they can get in it. That ball knocked free. Atkins fighting on the floor, and she'll get hit with a foul. Yeah. It's going to be her second. Two on Atkins. Good news there is it stops the break. Into the front court with the ball comes LaToya King. King over to Wilds. Wilds right side Duckworth. Duckworth to Hadley. Hadley defended by Grant. Sends it back over to King. Now into the corner. I think that's Wilds again. It is. Wilds back up to King. Nine to shoot. King attacks around a screen. Middle of the floor. Pulls up that floater. No good. Kayla Key with a rebound. That's nine for her. Key. Back up to Adkins, thought about it, hesitated. Back to Key. Key finds Clocker attacking, and a foul will put Clocker on the line. We'll see who they get with it. There's two in the area. They get Joy Hadley. That's it's four on Hadley. That's a big foul there for this Bruton Parker ball club. Five and a half minutes remaining, and your center now has four fouls. To the line goes Valentina Clocker shooting two. 5.33 to play. That free throw, good. Three-point lead. Clocker's next free throw, good. also good. So Valentina Clocker with a very big two-shot trip there. That gives her 10 points. 11. 11. Yeah, your, your live stats the are dragging. Yeah. Update, yeah, that Faulkner yeah. Wi-Fi is hurting you here. It is. Drive all the way in. Wilds puts it up and draws the foul. Who are they going to hit with this one? They're going to hit Clocker. That is now two on Valentina Clocker. 15 points for Adkins, 14 for Grant, 11 for Clocker. That's the folks in double digits for Faulkner. Wilds has 15 as she steps to the line. Sims has 10. First free throw for Wilds, no good. That's going to bring Sims back in and Hadley out. Both of them have four fouls. 55-51 is the lead as Wilds gets ready to shoot another free throw. She'll take that shot, no good, and a foul. Lane violation. Faulkner basketball. But that will allow them to set, set that up. press up instead of having to play off the rebound. Clocker to Fasonic. Fasonic will work across the timeline. Works off the screen from Grant. Now trying to get it back out to Atkins and Dutz. Atkins face up with Wilds. 12 to shoot. Atkins dribbling the clock out. Attacks left all the way into the rack. Left hand blocked from behind by Wilds. It's the shot she used to win the game two nights ago. This time, Wilds had it scouted. Gets it in the clocker, dumps it to Grant. Turn around, out to Key, and a travel on Grant. Grant was double teamed down there. Didn't have much she could do with it. The sun egg. Faulkner jumps in a little bit of a press here. Maybe, yeah. maybe Bruton Parker used some clock. Sonic and Adkins at the top of that press for the Lady Eagles. King with it, swings it to Duckworth. Duckworth back up to Haynes. She'll pull that three, no. Rebound, chase down, out of bounds. Clocker backed off because she knew she wasn't the last to touch it. And they give it to Bruton Parker. And that was clearly a missed call from here. I saw the Bruton Parker player touch it last. Haynes shakes, kicks, shot from the corner. Good. Drained by King. That's King's first points of the ball game. She's their second leading scorer. Cuts it to one. Fasane. We'll get it to Kayla Key. 20 to shoot. One point Faulkner lead, 4.06 to play. Key to Fasane. Fasane attacks. Almost loses it. Grant gathers out the key. Swings it to Atkins. Three from the volleyball lines. No. Rebound by Sims. 
Note by Haynes coming the other way. Haynes, King, three, no. Rebound, out of bounds, thrown back in. Haynes has it. Haynes back to King, she'll shoot another one, no. Crocker rebound, loses it. King again, she'll step back, kick it to Wilds. Wilds runs into Clocker and a block on Clocker. Valentina Clocker, again, was paying property taxes on that piece of real estate and a foul. That's three now on Clocker. Fresh 30 for Bruton Parker. King pulls a three from deep, no good. Clocker with a rebound. She gets it to Key. One point lead. Key face up with Haynes, hands it off to Atkins. Atkins will attack all the way in, feed Grant, layup good. Ashlyn Atkins feeds Grant, that's four assists for Atkins. 16 points for Grant. Lead is three, 2.56 to play. Haynes loses it, Clocker with a steal and there's a foul on Haynes. So give Haynes the foul, that is three on her. Three team fouls now for Bruton Parker, four for Lady Eagles. Clocker will inbound it. To Grant, over to Key. Reed Sutton telling his bunch, get downhill. Key, hand off to Adkins. They like it with the ball in her hands late. 2.37 to play. Going a little ISO look with Adkins here late in this ball game. Adkins to Key, Key attacks and a foul a ball. Uh, who are they gonna hit with it though? If it's, if it's Sims, that's Sims, that's five for Sims. Five for Sims, her day is done with 10 points and five rebounds. That'll bring Joy Hadley back in. Hadley playing with four. That is your situation to watch over the last 227 of regulation. 57-54 as Key steps to the line. Free throw, no good. Kayla Key, two points, nine boards, three assists. She steps to the line for another one. Trying to stretch it to a two possession game. And she'll make that one. Lady Eagles back on defense. Key for Sonic Atkins, Clocker Grant, the five for Faulkner. Wilds, Hadley, Duckworth, Haynes, and King, the five for the Barons. That's Duckworth, 16 to shoot. Over to Hadley. Hadley to King, defended tightly by Fasonic. She gives it to Wilds, eight to shoot. Wilds works right, pulls that three, no good. Rebound controlled by Duckworth. She'll dribble it back out of fresh 30. She pulls that three, no good. Rebound Angela Grant, that's 10 for her. She's got a double-double. Key coming across the timeline. Sutton tells his bunch to slow down with a four-point lead. 16 to shoot. Adkins working against Wilds, tries to shake her. She'll attack, eight to shoot, feeds Grant. Grant back out to Fasonic. She'll attack, pull that three, no. Rebound out of bounds. Sutton sets up the defense. 85 seconds to go in a four point Faulkner lead. That ball comes into King. King face up with Fasonic. She'll bring it across the timeline, loosely guarded by Fasonic. And a timeout taken by Bruton Parker. We'll take it with them. 77 seconds to play in this one, a four point Lady Eagle lead. This is the Faulkner Sports Network. Maybe you need a loan to help you slide behind the wheel of that new run. Perhaps it's a home loan or a HELOC you're seeking. Guardian Credit Union can help. With competitive interest rates on every loan product, Guardian is here to serve you with an unparalleled level of customer service, state-of-the-art online banking, and locations all over Montgomery.
58-54, minute 17 to play. Ball comes into Duckworth. She'll work right side. Feeds it to Wilds, tightly guarded by Adkins. She'll shoot it at 13 on the shot clock and drain it. A minute six to play and a one-point Faulkner lead. Trains it with a tough contest there from Adkins. Taking care of the basketball is the most important thing right now. Adkins trying to get through this pressure. Gets it up to Fasonic. Sutton says settle down. You got 18 to shoot. 15 to shoot. 12 to shoot. Fasonic hands it off to Adkins. Eight to shoot. Seven. She'll go to work all the way in. Goes up, right hand, no. Oh. Joy Hadley rips it down. 31 to play. Burton Parker trails by one. Wilds all the way in. Her shot, no good. Rebound, Hadley out of bounds. No, control thrown out of bounds at the Bruton Parker bench. Faulkner ball. Shot clock is off, 20.1 to play. 20.1 to play, one point lead. Will the student section stand <laughs> up? That's the great question of the day. No, there's your answer. <laughs> 58-57, 20 point one to play. We'll pause on the Faulkner Sports Network. From hand breaded chicken fingers and fried chicken to delicious sides and scratch made biscuits, Jack's has all the ingredients to make your next tailgate legendary. Football is just better with Jack's. So order ahead at eatatjacks.com and score big this season. Twenty point one to play, fifty-eight fifty-seven. Kayla Key gets it into Ashlyn Atkins. And a foul. That foul on Haynes, that's her fourth. That will send Ashlyn Atkins to the free throw line. First one good for Atkins. 17.4 remaining, so they're able to get at least about four seconds to run off the clock there. Second free throw good. It's a three point lead. 17.4 to play, Faulkner Sports Network. Assure your team's victory this season. Buy a dozen Jack's Biscuits starting at just $15. Mix and match until you get the combination just right. After all, football is better with Jack's. Order ahead at eatatjacks.com. Score big this football season. Sixty to fifty-seven, seventeen point four to play. Inbound comes from Haynes momentarily. Haynes works right side. Puts it in the hands of Wilds. Wilds all the way to the rack. Blocked by Kayla Key. Out of, of bounds. Basketball. Out of bounds. 
off of Bruton Parker. Faulkner ball, 5.3 to play. Reed Sutton takes a timeout. Maybe you need to update your life insurance coverage. Perhaps you're thinking about retirement. It could be an accident or a cancer policy that you're seeking. Whatever your insurance needs, make sure that you're covered at a rate that makes sense for you and your family. That's where Ronnie Park and Benefit Planners can help. Call Ronnie or Brian at 334-495-7476. Call Benefit Planners and make sure that your family is covered. All right, inbound will come, 5.3 to play. Kayla Key got to get it in, a one possession lead for Faulkner. Key to Grant, that's where you want it. She's fouled by Hadley, that's five on Hadley. That's going to be five on Joy Hadley. They're going to put it on 20, that is Hadley. Yep. So Joy Hadley's day is done. Angela Grant goes to the free throw line. Coach Sutton backing everybody off. She's got 16 and 10. She hits one of these. This pretty much sums it up for the afternoon here. Angela Grant, first free throw good. That's a four point game. This four seconds away from being one of the best wins of the year for the Lady Eagles. Grant second, good. Five point lead, three to play. Don't even defend her. Haynes misses the, free, the three pointer, it's over. What a win for the Lady Eagles against a really good Bruton Parker team. That, my friends, is pretty. Pulls Faulkner to 14 and 15 on the year as they head into the tournament. And a great way to end the season, or the regular season, for Morgan Sykes, the lone senior on this team. You said it, good job by this Lady Eagle basketball team this afternoon. They come out on fire in that first half, go, jumping out at that 15 point lead and let Bruton Parker get back into it, but they gut out another tough win here after Thursday, two good wins to end the season going into that conference tournament, Jeremy, and you're absolutely right. So a great win here. Final numbers, 18 and 10 for Angela Grant, 17 for Ashlyn Adkins, 62, re or 62 points, 50 rebounds as a team for Faulkner, 57 points, 46 rebounds as a team for Bruton Parker. Your final here today, 62-57, Lady Eagles win. For David Turner, for Carter Moles, for the whole Faulkner Sports Network team, I am Jeremy Smith. We'll be over on the men's feed in about 20 minutes. Good night. God bless.